Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman or at Schneems on the internet. Recently I have been doing quite a bit of uh, performance testing. I created a uh, rack cache demo application that shows how to use memcache in order to speed up the performance of uh, your perf your application on Heroku. And in order to load test that, I used a product called Blitz.io. So Blitz makes application performance management a fun sport. Um, what you can do is use their add-on to simulate users hitting your service. Um, so I've already gone ahead and added their add-on onto my Rack Cache demo application. Uh, and we can go ahead and see I've got Memcache as well as Blitz. If I go to Blitz, uh, we first click play. And from here, I can enter in a URL and it will hit it with concurrent users, or we can also do this thing called rushing, which is a neat way to see how your site behaves to a pattern of usage. So if we put from 1 to 250 with a 60 second interval, then we are going to see how our site behaves as we gradually add more concurrent users from 1 to 60, or it's from 1 to 250 up uh, to a, a total of 60 seconds. So then we just add our URL and click on run. And this will go ahead and hit our server using their simulated users. It also gives us a nice graph showing our response time with uh, correlated to the number of users that they are currently hitting it with. So where it looks like for about 53 users, we are have a response time of about 35 milliseconds, which isn't isn't too bad. We also see the number of um, good hits, as well as we will see timeouts if there are any with our application, and um, it, it's kind of a, a good way to get a feel for you know if 300 people decided to visit your site right this very moment, what exactly um, you know would happen? Would 100 of them time out? You know. Uh, and these are these are things you might want to be thinking about. Uh, one thing I will mention is it does kind of help to run this maybe a few times. And also, I wouldn't recommend running it on your production server since it will add quite a bit of load to the already existing load. Um, so I recommend taking your existing production code and making a staging server on Heroku that you can you can try it out. It's also just convenient to have a staging server in general. So here our test is done, and we can see we got 17 timeouts, which, um, you know, not too horrible out of a total of, of 7,000 hits. And um, we, we stayed pretty level with performance, um, kind of. We did have some spikes and then right up until, until the end. Even so, uh, we, we're still returning back at, with uh, 72 millisecond times. Um, and this is with caching enable, rack cache enable. I did also do the do the same test without it enabled, and it was uh, a, a bit worse. So let's go ahead and take a look at the caching code in our application, and we can explain exactly what's going on. So since we're using memcache, we want to add the Dolly gem. This is going to enable us to store objects directly into um, into memcache. And then we do have to configure our action dispatch dot rack cache. And we're going to set the, the meta store to our Dolly client. And Dolly client dot new will automatically pick up our environment configuration variables if there are any. Um, and whenever you add the memcache client onto Heroku via an add on, it, it automatically adds that environment variable. If it doesn't, it'll just try to use localhost, which is perfect and exactly what we need right here. Uh, since locally, I'm going to just be using the default port and um, connection URL, which is just localhost. Uh, here, I'm also setting my entity store to a file. Um, the reason we these these two are different, the meta store just contains data about the types of objects we're caching whereas the entity store is the actual file, the actual object itself. Um, the meta store is relatively small. Each one of those objects is very small, uh, but they are accessed very, very frequently, whereas the entity store are accessed relatively infrequently, but 
they are very large. So if you prefer, if you want to get um, things a little bit sped up, you can actually use memcache for both of those, but that will put quite a bit of information inside of your memcache. Uh, we also want to set our static cache control headers to um, public as well as we are putting a very, very large age on them. And what this is doing is saying that we can, these files are good for a very, very, very long time. Um, and the way that we are getting around any kind of changes whenever we update or add any kind of changes is by setting our config.assets.digest to true. And what this will do, it will take an MD5 sum of the of your individual asset and actually turn that into the file name. So whenever our file changes, so does the file name. So it, it knows um, that it, it is a different file and that it has changed and that it, it won't have that already cached. Um, we also can set uh, serve static assets true, so our application will serve them default from the app. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, for more information on um, Rack Cache, you can check out the uh, the Rack Cache demo. I do have it um, in, uh, in GitHub, and you can find that on the show notes, as well as a document explaining all of the steps in order to add rack cache along with memcache into your own application. So go ahead and give that a try for additional performance and feel free to take a look at Blitz. It is free to try for up to 250 concurrent users. And after that, um, I believe it, there's a, uh, a fee and it can, the, next, the next one up is uh, about 1,000 users. And the great thing about uh, Blitz and just our add-ons in general is that you don't have to pay for um, if it if it says you know twenty dollars a month we actually charge per the minute so if you only need to use Blitz for perhaps an hour to do some performance testing you can just uh, bump that up and see how your site responds to you know say a thousand concurrent users which uh, which would be great if you got a thousand concurrent users right now. Uh, and then you can turn it back off whenever you are no longer using it. So definitely check out Blitz, check out Rat Cash. Thank you very much for stopping by and have a great day.